Hello, I'm here today to introduce to you a new book entitled Climbing Out of the Credit Pit. Whether you're just starting to establish credit for the first time or working to repair your credit, this book has something for everyone. This book comes in both paperback and Kindle edition. Go ahead, click the links below in the description. They will open in a new window, so they won't stop the video from playing. So go ahead and check it out. Don't delay. Get it today. Hello everybody and welcome to this edition of CQT Computer Quick Tips and uh, this is episode number five and today's episode is going to be about additional login information may be required. A few weeks ago I started um, experiencing an issue when I boot up my computer and it um, go to log in to my network and the status box would pop up and it would say uh, additional login information may be required for the internet and I had to click on the box to get more information and then a web page would open up uh, supposedly with more information but all I got was directed to a page on my ISP website which didn't have any help this went on off and on for a while and then one day this box popped up and I closed it but then I couldn't get on the internet um, and at first I thought it was my internet connection you know my um, router or my uh, the ISP might have been down but uh, doing a little research I found that uh, my other devices in the house could get on just fine, but I couldn't get connected to the internet with my particular computer. So I did a little research on the internet and um, on other computers, and I did a Google search, which I went through a few pages, but I didn't really find anything helpful with that. So. I uh, kind of devised a plan. At first I was thinking, well, my internet was down, so I called the ISP and they said, no, their, their end was fine, but they did find a problem uh, with my particular connection, so they resolved that. And then about another week went by and everything was fine, and then the same thing started happening again. So. I was thinking that it might have been my uh, internet adapters, so I disabled those and re-enabled them, and still nothing happened. But finally, I came up with a plan uh, to work this out, and this is going to show you how I resolve this issue with my particular computer. And maybe if someone else is uh, having this type of issue, um, that uh, this might help them out. Uh, this became really a two-step process and I'm going to go through the two steps that you'll need to do to uh, resolve this issue. Uh, first one is um, go to your computer icon, right click it and go to properties. When that comes up go to device manager and when your device manager um, loads up go to network adapters and uh, you'll see there's three network adapters here. What you're going to want to do here is uh, click on it and then right click on it and go to uninstall. And uninstall each one of these adapters until there's nothing in this section in this uh, network adapter section will completely disappear. Uh, then the next thing you'll need to do is reboot your computer. And when you reboot your computer and it boots up, uh, your computer should detect uh, your network adapters and reload them into your computer. And then after that, after that's all done reloading, and uh, you might, um, you'll come up here and um, you can see that uh, you're connected. When you open your browser, 
you still may not be connected to the internet and the reason is why is because of your browser cache it caches pages uh, when you open up uh, web pages on the internet and it caches them so that it doesn't take as long the next time you go to them to open up so pages that you normally would go to on the internet you might not be able to get to you still might be directed to a page uh, to your ISP or someplace else like some people were having problems when they tried to go to Google they got uh, redirected to Facebook well now that you've reloaded your uh, network adapters try going to a page that you don't normally go to uh, like whitepages.com or uh, htmlclinic.com if your browser will load these pages uh, without you having been redirected to another page then you are connected to the internet but your cache is keeping you from getting to pages that you normally frequent now the re the way to resolve this issue uh, here I have uh, Google Chrome open and you want to go um, to the settings in Google Chrome and when that opens up uh, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page to uh, where it says uh, show advanced settings click on that and then scroll down to where it says uh, reset settings uh, you want to click on this button and what this will do is reset the browser to the uh, state it was in when you first installed it on your computer now your uh, bookmarks and your other things won't be um, deleted from here um, you uh, it will tell you that when you, before you uh, initiate this setting that your add-ons will be disabled so you'll have to go and, and turn that uh, all back on but um, after you do, do the uh, reset close your browser open it up and you should be able to get back to your pages as you normally would uh, your most frequently um, visited pages should come up instead of being redirected and uh, you might need to do this with each browser you have if you have more than one browser and um, each browser has a similar function on it uh, Internet Explorer and Mozilla so just look for those and do the reset on each one of those and you should be able to get reconnected with the internet I hope this has helped you out, and I hope everybody has a great day. Bye-bye.